Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is multiplying some mixed numbers. So if you would, um, pause the video and see if you can try to do this one on your own. All right, so whenever you have mixed numbers, what you want to do first is you want to change them into improper fractions. So to do that, you have 3 times 5, so you multiply those, and then you would add the top. So 3 times 5 is 15, plus 2 is 17. So that's 17 over 5. You want to do the same thing with this, so you want to multiply, and then you want to add. So 2 times 8 is 16, 16 plus 7 is 23, so it'd be 23 over 8. Now if possible, you would cross cancel if you can. Uh, here you can't. So what you would do is you just multiply across. So 23 times 17, all right, 3 times 7 is, 7 times 3 is 21, K2. Uh, 7 times 2 is 14, plus 2 is 16, and then 1 times 23 is just 23. So you add those together, 1, 9, 3. So on the top, I have 391, and then 5 times 8 is 40. Now, I can't just leave my answer like that. What I have to do is I have to simplify it. Or to say another way, I need to change it to a mixed number because that's what I started with. Since I started with a mixed number, mixed numbers, then I have to end with a mixed number. So do some division here. Hopefully this long division won't take too long. So does 40 go into 391, or sorry, 39? No. Does it go into 391? Yes. Uh, you know, prices, right rules, close uh, without getting over. 9 times 40 is 360. And then you would subtract which is 31. So my final answer, this is the remainder by the way, 31. So it'll be nine, and the remainder always goes what you're dividing it by, or your divisor. So it'll be nine and 31 fortieths. And that is my answer.